Hey, good afternoon, Lehigh Valley Phantom fans. This one's going to be a bit loud as I'm here at the Reading Royals Stadium reacting to a 3 2 heartbreaking loss again for the fans as they lose to the Toronto Marlies. Also, the affiliate of the Newfoundland Growlers or the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, we are playing tonight, as you can hear the announcer in the background right now. They lose 3 2. The Frost has a very good game again. Pat Maggle continued to look really good, as you can tell, I'm here in front of the game. Reading Royals for Nitty Gritty. Nagle had a solid game. Nothing he could do about a great setup in front for the one goal and one off of the captain's leg for another goal for the Morley. So it was a game that was another heartbreaking loss for the fans. They were able to walk away with one point like I projected they would be able to do in the preview I did earlier today that I'll link at the end of this video. They did that. They just weren't able to get the second point which is the oh-so-desired thing for the fan of this far this season. But Morgan continued to look well. Isaac Ratcliffe, who has looked good at times on the ice this year, the big boy was able to get himself a goal on a nice play by Jackson Cape. And then you had Josh Moosang, who's a hell of a player who's had to go through some stuff in his career, be able to deke and dangle through the defense and make one that Pat Nagel had no chance to save, obviously, at the end there. So the fan of this is a game again, just like last game. You have stuff you can learn and grow and push through from. They just need to be able to play a more complete game to not allow guys like they had a breakdown on a wide open goal in front of the net. Of course, that the um, Marlies were able to get. And then Clue was also left alone in front of the net as their captain scored that it was able to go off the skate. So you got to have a bunch of better net front protection from the Phantoms. That's something they're going to continue to fix. In the positives, you saw Frost continue to do well. You saw Nagel have a solid first game. And he couldn't really make a save on any of those shots. He didn't block guys out from the net front, and there's no shot in hell. He was saving Hosang shots. So this was a game, again, the Phantoms just got to push learn and grow from this is a team that is young very young with some mixed in veterans but they played a hell of a lot better last year where here with Lappy this far they don't seem to have as much of the jam to be able to get them over the top as this is another heartbreaking one but we're still, still early in his coaching career he's a hell of a guy in terms of player development as we've seen it happen with being good with Flyers youngsters now he's been good with Wilman who's got up and then Frost is definitely on the track to get up York has looked good, and Zamula has looked good as well. It's just now about being able to have the other end of the coaching tire, which is able to be able to get the team over the hump with wins. That part of that is also in the players, but going back from last year, how they look, I think it's just about finding the right buddy to push to get them over the edge at this point and finding the right system to be able to not have those flaws in the net front that we did not see with not too different of a defense other than losing a great veteran like Pouillot last season and also not having a great youngster like Mason Millman, it shouldn't be this much of a degree of a 180 at times when you're just not guarding out the But it is what it is. So the Phantoms are able to get one point. It's better to escape with one point than zero point, obviously, as they're now getting a point streak going. So that's something to be able to have a point streak going, as the Phantoms now have a two-game point streak, and look to build off of that as they now have the whole week off all the way up to next Friday. And they take on the Syracuse Crunch, who are 5, 6, and 2, against a 3, 8, and 3, and 1. 3, 8, 3, and 1 extends the fan of the that point. So this has been a reaction from Santander Arena, the Reddit Royals Arena, as I'm covering the game for Flyers Eddie Gray tonight before their game, to the Phantoms having another heartbreaking 3 to 2 OT loss. But Ratcliffe, a key player for our future, looked good. And also Morgan Frost, a key player for the Flyers and Phantom Future, as Ratcliffe potentially that as well for the Flyers in my eyes. A guy that definitely is as Frost and looked really good. And then Nagel looked solid in his first start. And now it's just about the finishing touches as you're on a two game point streak, able to get points. Now you got to get over the hump and try to beat the front next week, um, which is going to be at Syracuse. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. It'll be a week off from the ghostly takes because there's no game until next Friday, and then I'll be doing a preview on Thursday or Friday from that for here. And then please follow Flyers Nitty Gritty as well as subscribing here down below. Only easy to use widget. Peace out, everybody, and have a safe night.